It's no secret that as you get older, your body begins to change, right? I wasn't always bald, <laughs> um, at least this bald. And for some people, like my next guest, certain body changes can feel embarrassing at times. Take a look. When I get the urge to go to the restroom, I have no time to wait. It's zero to 60, I have to locate a restroom immediately. Laughing, coughing, sneezing will all result in a certain amount of leakage. The incontinence will range from a little bit of leakage to a full release of my bladder. In the past year, I've had to throw away between 10 and 12 pair of underwear. My kids know me for my various dances and facial expressions as I feel the urge coming on the Duke. It's a kind of traditional John Wayne cowboy walk. I then go to the mermaid. My knees are pinched together. And in the unfortunate event of a, an accident, I just kind of walk like a zombie <laughs> until I get to my location to clean up. I feel it's hard for women to talk about this topic because of the stigma. I believe it is taboo. Is this type of incontinence normal? Normal. If so, how do I move past the stigma and start living my life again? Well, Cindy's here along with Dr. Rachel Ross from the medical show, The Doctors. Good to see you again. Uh, as well as author and journalist Barbara Hannah Grefferman. So welcome to all three of you. Barbara, what do you say about this? Well, you know, thank you so much for bringing us all together to talk about this very, very important thing that actually happens to over 40% of women over 40, believe it or not. And it's, it's a sensitive bladder, also known as incontinence, that can also cause a bladder to leak. And that happens very often. And it can be a, a result of weight gain, childbirth, some medications that you're taking. Yes. It can be a side, of, side effect of another common illness. And so as you get older, there are some things that we can do that could just make this a little more comfortable. Absolutely, but really the key though is to never feel embarrassed yes. about this because clearly you're not alone. No. Millions and millions of women are also going through this and that's essential. You never want to stop living your life. You never want to stop being afraid to cough or sneeze or, or stop doing the things you love to do. You've actually found out that you weren't the only one experiencing this, right? Because what happens, you get to thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm... Don't want to let anybody know about sure. this, right? Absolutely. Um, as women, we sometimes talk about very intimate details of our personal lives. And it wasn't until I uh, read about the show, signed up, that I realized in discussing with my friends that a lot more of them were going through this and just nobody's ever discussed it. And as I spoke with them, I, 12, I, be I believe I polled 12, 11 of my friends confess to having some form of, of stress or urinary incontinence. Really? Yes. Really? 11 out of 12 of your friends? Yes. Rachel, there are different treatment options, right? Absolutely, there are plenty of different treatment options out there, including behavioral treatments. And if you've spoken to your doctor about that, bladder training is one big thing that we do. And also pelvic floor strengthening. The pelvic floor muscle exercises are something every woman should be doing, whether they have this or not. And they're so easy to do, so discreet, you can just sneak them into your daily lives. So no one Standing in line at the supermarket. And the best part Watching of it Dr. Is... Phil on TV. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All of those things. All and of, of those course, things. there are some quick hey, in Please don't make her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, I got this under but just, new chairs. <laughs> just as important, though, is being prepared with the right protection. Yes. Right? Now, Always has come out with a new line of products called Always Discreet with liners and pads and also disposable underwear. This line also has um, a dual leak guard barrier, which is key. So with there being so many options out there, as well as in-office procedures, particularly talk to your doctor about which option is going to be right for you. Because I, I noticed also you said that you wear more skirts now. Yes. Because it's much easier, easier access when you're actually going to the bathroom. So Absolutely. It really does sound sounds like the disposable neat. underwear are the best option for you. Whichever you choose, you really want to look at sensitive bladder in the face and say, you know what, you're not ruling my life. And the topic that you brought up is just opening up this whole new world for women. So there's, I mean, you're now aware of the fact that there's other options out yeah, there. I'm glad and you came to talk about it. 
Did you learn something new? Yeah, I've learned a lot. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, and, you know, Barbara, you're actually going to be on The Doctors, and you're going to talk about this yeah. topic. Yes, I'm like, I actually can't time? wait because there's so much more to talk about. And until then, I really encourage everyone, including you, Sydney, to go on to alwaysdiscreet.com to find out more tips and to ask more questions very discreetly, anonymously, and also to look at some of the articles that I've written about living your best life. There was one more thing that you wanted to share, Barbara, right? Oh, yes, this is very exciting. Now, the line of Always Discreet products are available at Dollar General. And I'm very, very pleased to tell you that everyone here in the audience is leaving today with a gift card from Dollar General for $75. All right.